and welcome to another special edition of Pinky's Travel Adventures. In this one, we're doing a weigh-in. No, we haven't been to Weight Watchers. Um, we're just weighing the car and the van. So what we've done, we've um, loaded up the caravan and the car as if we were going on a trip around Australia for eight months, which we're going to do next year. But uh, I wanted to get a real measure of the weights in the van. I'm pretty certain the tow ball weight is too high and um, I'll have to do something about that in the future but I wanted to get some real specifics or actual figures for axle weights of the car and uh, and the ball weight. Uh, so uh, I've got a guy coming, uh, should be here in about three quarters of an hour. So I'll do a quick run through of what we've got in the van and what we've got in the truck. So it's a uh, Nissan Navara with a ARBX Ascent canopy on the back. So in here I've got our chairs, chainsaw, um, step ladder. I've also got a uh, an inflatable canoe. And uh, and I'll show you in the other window. Um, I'll open this window. So we've got extra. Um, compressor for my airbags, uh, stuff for the push bikes, and I've got these crates in here um, just in case I need to get some firewood, uh, somewhere to put the firewood uh, as an interim. On the top of the car uh, we have a solar panel and some whatever they call it, things to get out of your trouble. So in here we have our extra portable solar panel. I've got the Selfie um, Telstra network expander and our first aid stuff is here. A few drinks and a few little carry packs. So over the other side I've got our fridge. This is the uh, our drinks fridge and uh, picked up these things off uh, Facebook which is quite good. The whole four cans four of them fit across there and I've got the camera box and the drone box and got walkie talkies CBs and some extra chairs and also uh, I've put a net across here to put our jackets and other stuff so in this side I've got an empty jerry can which I'm going to use if I need a um, grey water tank. Um, and I've got this uh, slide thing that you put the front of the caravan if you get bogged. And a bucket and a thing to wash the caravan if we're somewhere in a caravan park. And a shovel on the roof in case we get into trouble. In the back here, I'll show you, I've got two drawers. Uh, there's also a, a lithium uh, 120 amp hour battery in there to run the fridge and a DC to DC charger. So in my drawer I've got all sorts of odds and ends, a bottle jack, 8,000 kilo bottle jack and tools and compressor hoses, tie down straps. And over this side at the moment it's full of rubbish just to add some weight, a couple of tools, but this is going to be our long-term pantry if we buy bulk food we can stick it in there. So that's the car. Now we go to, so we've taken off the um, the jerry can holders, got rid of the um, front guard and stone stomper. So in this cupboard we have all the stuff you need to get the, the van in position. We have um, a bag of um, ramps and some wedges, step ladder to go in the front of the steps, uh, the electric drill to drive the legs put the legs down and some bits and pieces if I need <clears throat> some ropes or pegs 
and uh, anti-sink plates if I'm on soft ground. Also up the back there, I've got a crate that's got, um, I've got um, snorkeling gear over the far side and fishing gear in this bag and that's um, campfire gear like um, um, billies and stuff like that if you want to cook on the campfire. So none of this stuff uh, weighs very much. So in the uh, tunnel boot of the old train, I've got a barbecue and some pool noodles just to stop things rattling around. So it's a two burner gas barbie, complies with warranties and all that sort of thing and a little bin on the end and we use a mat on an open grill to cook on. Let's clean up. This is actually riveted down onto the tray so it doesn't move and I've um, plumbed the gas hose in and this little table I can put things on and underneath it is a um, there's all the stuff for the barbecue like the tools or foil plates trays and around the back we have our bike rack which was uh, factory fitted a Fiamma 60 kilo max C, which um, we've got two e-bikes on there, no batteries, batteries are in the back of the car and no seats so that the uh, sun doesn't damage them. Um, I'm eventually going to get a cover over that but for now we don't have the cover and I've got three water tanks so two there and one there. In this side of the tunnel boot, I've still got the uh, jack there and all I have here is a clothesline, aluminium clothesline and an aluminium spare table if we need a second table or a table outside uh, when we put the awning up. And in the other side of the, uh, the box is just hoses. Um, I've got two lengths of garden hose and the drain hoses and my uh, manifold to hook the two pipes together and two buckets just for having some buckets and just in case you need a bucket or two. And in the top section I have a 15, I've got two 15 amp leads, I've got three King's awnings, um, two I can put out the western side if we're in the sun. Um, this is our floor mat and over the other side there is uh, another mat and two end piece, two end awnings. So there's all, there's nothing really heavy in this bin. This bin gets really hot. If I'm going to keep this bin I'm going to um, paint it white to stop it from getting so hot in the sun. So I've had some um, people ask us to show them how we load the van inside so uh, let's go inside and have a look. So you got to remember this is a pop top so we don't have the cupboard space so we've got packet stuff, a few of our everyday uh, condiments like Vegemite, peanut butter and honey and chips, lollies and spices are up there and top drawer which I made, just the cutlery second drawer is our plates and cups and mugs third drawer is plastic containers and extra um, utensils. Down the bottom here we have 
containers of heavy stuff, cans, and in the side cupboard, pots, pans, fry pans, cutting board, and general stuff. You could probably put a rack in there. And under the stove, we've got milk, biscuits, flour. And in this long skinny cupboard, which is next to useless, we've got our brekkie cereal. We've got some uh, lap um, tables and some skinny bulk materials, um, oats and stuff like that. And in this uh, corner cupboard underneath the uh, television, basically don't have much. We've got the chargers for the, the Ryabi batteries and a uh, Bushman's uh, insect repellent because that has an access outside. And this is our um, uh, closed cupboards, that's the misses. Um, across the top, we can't see in there, but we've got blankets in there. Or when we get a cold night, we just reach in and that's my clothes. And there's Pinky relaxing on the bed. And in this corner cupboard, we have a little mini blower and not much else. I'm going to put my um, laptop battery chargers in there. Across the top here, we have insect spray, insect repellents, all our stuff to keep insects at bay. Middle cupboard is games to keep us entertained with friends. And in this cupboard is the uh, night uh, insect light, the zapper, two battery zappers, um, torch lights, and, and books and manuals and chargers and remote controls. And underneath the fridge we have this little silly cupboard which goes all the way back. So in there we've put our campfire gear plus some uh, stuff we get to very rarely, chip bowl, containers so that's uh, that's our storage we'll see how that goes and uh, hey the guy should be here any minute So Bluetooth to the computer, are they? Uh, Bluetooth to this. Okay. Yeah. It's all Australian made. These are all developed in or made in Karatha, but sold out in Newcastle. Right. It's really good Australian technology. So all I'm going to really do is just enter in all the um, vehicle details. Yep. And van details. Um, so then I've got a baseline to work off. Yep. And what, then all what, the, the what true it's a, numbers. What it's allowed to uh, yeah, weigh. Yeah, that's right. Um, compliance button on the van? I think it's just inside the door. Thank you. Uh, there is it. Yep, that's it. Yeah, good. Good. And I think that... Mm. Is the vehicle under the bonnet or is it on the door frame? Um, no, no, it's alright. You got that? Yeah. Otherwise. So we're sitting in the car being weighed. So he's weighing the car and then he'll weigh the van. Possibly should have lost a bit of weight before we started this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what time it was, but it was the middle of the night. Okay. 
Got to drop that down so that it is that right? Well, we'll go through the report first, guys. Okay. Happy to do it out here? Yeah. Okay. Can you both read that? Tell me if you can see that clear enough or not. Yep, I can. Okay, so two, two, four, one, one, six. So. Main numbers we look at are the on-tow numbers, so what, what they're doing whilst they're both in connection. So the gross vehicle mass of the Navara, you'll add 2910, and you're sitting on 3227, which is 317 kilos over. Heavy girl. The gross combination mass, so it's what Nissan allow you in combination whilst on tow. You'll add 5910, you're sitting on 5643 which is 267 underweight. Oh, so we're right. So that's good. That, that, that's wonderful. That, that's, uh, that's the number that, that really 100% matters. Okay? Oh, oh, there you go. I mean, this, this number matters, but this number matters more. Yeah. So the gross trailer mass is what Jayco allow you whilst it's on tow. You're allowed 2520, you're sitting on 2416, which is 100 kilos underweight. Hmm. Right, so we, cool. we do need to play with this weight a lot that one there, to get yeah. it legal yeah. right. to get it insured um but in combination you are safe hmm. you're good yep so um, the vehicle itself is just overweight it's just heavy yeah yeah um That's and we too with the fuel and all that yeah as well. and we yeah. don't really have a lot of wiggle room to pull weight out of the car into the van like there's only 100 kilos there yeah but if you were to empty out all your, your water tanks or well, the front one for a start we yeah. don't we don't travel with it normally and then that's you know another 90 kilos yeah so, oh, so that's if fine. You take, if you took that off, you'd be right, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. And you know, this number lines up here as well. So your rear axle capacity, you're allowed 1950, and you're sitting on 2002, so 52 kilos over. Now, this would probably build a lot of wiggle room into the variances, that sort of stuff. So in reality, that number's probably a hell of a lot higher, but they've got to cap it somewhere. Yeah. Mm. So 2002, so it is slightly heavier on the rear axle. Um, that is basically a longevity thing for the, the rear diff. Um, towing capacity, you're allowed three and a half ton and you're sitting on 2416. Um, aggregate trailer mass, that's how the van weighs how, you know, right now. Yep. Not on tow, not connected, not moving. Right, 118 kilos underweight, so that's perfectly fine. Oh, great. Um, and the tow ball mass, sitting on 250 kilos, 248 to be exact, which is 9% of the total weight of the van. So that's, um, on the flip side, that one's a little bit light. Yeah. It's supposed but to be ten percent. Needs it? to be ten percent. Anywhere from eight to twelve percent is good. Um, so nine percent is fine. But if we can get that a little bit higher, it'd be yeah. better off. Um, other numbers that we look at, just because we can, the distribution in the car, 50-50 side to side, beautiful. Rear axle, as we know, it's a bit heavier, but you know that's on tow, so you're always going to be heavier on the mm -hmm. rear axle. Mm -hmm. The balance in the van, fifty-one to forty-nine percent. So that's a difference of five. Mm, 70 kilos not much and that's over 2.6 ton so that's really not enough to really worry about and once again you know the front axle is going to be a bit heavier because it's getting pulled down yeah you know, a lot, yeah. lot more weight over the front end than the rear end all right cool yeah. so that's you wow. so well, well that's good the van's fine it's just the car yeah so big ticket items look at it as three different insurance policies hmm. your ute on tow the van on tow and the combination so as I look at it, the ute on tow, not insured. The van on tow, insured. Combination, insured. Right, okay. The easiest way to put it. Yeah. So a little bit to play with in the ute to, to drop a bit of weight. Yeah. But otherwise, you're okay. So it's just the car. Yeah. Get rid of the boat out of it. Did yeah, you put the boat in the there? Yeah, the boat's in there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's probably, what would happen that if you put, What would happen if you put the boat in the van? You could add another 100 kilos to yes. the caravan. Yeah. yeah. You could add the boat in the shower at the back. Yeah, that might have the car. You, you, you want it to pull forward. You want more yeah. weight forward. Oh, Probably forward? under the bed. Yeah. Really? Under the bed. Yeah, because yeah, the, the, the tow ball. Tow ball weight's too light. Oh, okay. So if you put that. Will it fit, fit in, in the front, front toolbox box? or in the, uh, in the tunnel? It probably could. Yeah, I could do shuffling. And if you want to, I have time. No, no, it's all right. We'll, okay. we'll worry about that later. Okay. And then you could put the chairs probably somewhere. Well, the chairs aren't that heavy. I mean, you're going to, honestly, like 20 kilos. you're going to yeah. struggle to get 300 kilos out of it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Because that's, that's it. Oh, yeah, because of the fuel. And, and, yeah. Well, yeah. well, yeah. yeah. It's got a full tank of fuel. 130 litres of fuel plus the, um, the drawers. The problem is that the drawer system 
It's got an ARB drawer system in it. They're going to be 150 and, odd. Yeah, and it's very heavy. If I pull the drawers out... Big lot, yeah, and, and, yeah, depending on what's in there. Yeah, well, there's just lots, so of, if you think, lots of stuff. So if you, if you go, okay, well, let's run with a normal tank, yeah. say 70 litres. Yeah. So call that 65 kilos. Yeah. The ARB drawers, we'll add that up to 200 all up now. Yeah. And, you, and the boat. The boat, so... That's it, probably it. We're, we're almost there. What are yeah. you going to do about the drawers? Pull them out. Pull them out and just use boxes. That's plastic, a good idea. Plastic tubs, plastic. Yeah. Yeah, that's you a better idea. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Very the drawers hard. are great for what they are, but they're yeah, super heavy. They are they're very, very heavy. heavy. Very I noticed heavy. that when I put them in, they yeah. were very heavy. I mean, yeah. the canopy itself is pretty heavy as well. Um, yeah, but that, that's, but that's a need. Those drawers weigh a ton. They do, and they're steel. They're not yeah. aluminium, they're not lightweight. Yeah. Um, so you'd be better off just getting them. I, I honestly, I'd, I'd, I'd get rid of them and yeah, yeah. sell them. Yeah. Get rid of them if you want to, or if you use, you know, if you decide to use the, van, the vehicle whilst not on tow. You know, yeah, that's where you're going yeah. to use them. Yeah. It depends on yeah. your use of them and... Yeah, cool. I think... Oh, well, we know what the problem is now. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, um, I th but yeah. on the flip side... Anyway. I suspected it, yeah. The easiest way, you know, and it's not cheap, but just get a GVM upgrade. Get a suspension upgrade, get a GVM upgrade, that would take that number away. Yeah, right. So, GVM upgrades generally give you 10% of the total weight. So, I mean, you go on from 2910 to another 300 kilos that'll give you. Yeah. So, right. basically, wipe that wipe number that over problem off. to zero. And yeah. that's a matter of, you know, GVM upgrade, generally suspension and engineer's report. And, hmm. All you know, right. It's money out of your pocket. Yeah. For 100% safety. Yeah. Or, you know, do what you, you plan on doing to, to yeah. get there. We'll probably get you back in uh, six months or so when we've done a reconfiguration. Yeah. Just to I'll see. Be, happy to help. I'm always down here. Yeah. That's happy a good idea. Yeah. To do All right. That. All Terrific. Right. Okay. So we're done. Yeah. Thank yep. you. Done. Well, that was an interesting experience. It was very interesting. Um, I'm, I was a bit, I suppose I was surprised that the van weighed so well. Yeah, me too. I thought the van would have been heavy. And, um, yeah, with that big heavy thing on the front. But, yeah. But I'm quite happy, very, I'm yeah. ecstatic that the van has come out so well. Yeah. Um, I really did load the car up. Yeah, you did. Excessively, to, really. excessively yeah, to just to, to, to push the limits. Yeah. Um, but now we know uh, we have to unload the truck a bit. Um, I'm pretty sure by uh, taking out uh, one of those drawers, the a ARB drawers, because they made a steel and they are heavy. Mm, they're very heavy. And that, yeah. particularly that left hand drawer, when I pull it out, I reckon it's got to be nearly 100 kilos. Most definitely. Um, so we'll take the boat out, take the, the most of the stuff that's in the drawer uh, out, take the drawer out, and obviously, as, it, as the guy suggested, if we drop 40 litres out of the fuel tank, um, I'll throw 30 litres out of the fuel tank. Yeah, 30 litres. And that's, that's, that's a fair <coughs> bit of weight as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, only, I filled the fuel tank up to maximum, because it's a long range ARB fuel tank, I filled that up to maximum just to make to, to get the real weight, uh, to get the weight of it all. Um, but yeah, there's only the only reason you need to do to fill the tank up to, to maximum is when you're cruising through Central Australia because yeah. you can go easily from one town to you know, five towns further on, um, pick up the cheaper fuel between stops, and you're not going to have that weight all the time. You know, the no. first first 200 kilometres, yeah, the, that weight's gone. Gone. You know? That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm quite happy with the uh, the way it was all got the weight up. Yeah, no, he um, was really, really good. Yeah, very I, informative. Yeah, recommend anybody to quite, have it done. It was really good. Quite pleased that uh, we were able to get 
the cross weight as well, yeah. you know, like it's being shared on this side or that side of the vehicle, which um, Waybridge just can't give you yeah. uh, from the local tip. But um, yeah, I'm very happy. Great job. Yeah, and, he um, did a really good job, and he's a really nice fellow too. Yeah, and he did, he um, give you some pointers and to work out to try and bring the weight down a bit, and you know he was really good. So we'll Very give you friendly. an update. We'll give you an update as we uh, unload some stuff yeah. uh, in the future about um, how we we saved our three hundred kilos out of the car. Yeah, and that's really all we have to do. Wish us luck. <laughs> Just get the 300 kilos out. Yeah. Um, probably yeah. I could put the uh, bike batteries into the front bin. Yes. Because it, you said it needs it a few more k's on the on the drawbar. Yeah. Well, you're going to take the boat out too and the put boat, that in there. The boat. Yeah. Well, no, I'm going to take the boat out altogether. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right. Okay. Great. See you for the next trip. Right. Bye. Bye. The products and services in this video have all been paid for at retail prices. There is no sponsorship or deals made with any suppliers.